Hi, I'm Kurt Kapala from aidtightloop.com and today I'm going to be tying Stuart's simple crayfish. The materials that I use to tie the crayfish are mustad stinger hooks in size 2 or size 4, Danville flat wax nylon thread, silly legs, UV polar chenille, marabou, and bucktail. Let's get started tying Stuart's simple crayfish. I'm going to attach my thread just behind the hook guy. I'm going to trim the tag. Put a small bump of thread about a hook guy and a half back from the hook guy and attach the lead eyes. Set them on top of the hook Put four or five wraps going one way, four or five wraps going the other way. Use your thumb to help straighten the eyes. Wrap around the hook two or three times. And then we're going to go below the eyes but above the hook, pulling the thread very tight as we go around. And then around the hook a couple more times. And then I throw in a knot real quick. That will secure your eyes onto the hook without a problem. You can put a drop of glue if you want. I usually don't. Now we move our thread down to the hook point. We take some rubber legs, fold them over the thread, and attach them just in front of the hook point on top of the hook. We want them all going backwards. And then I'm going to trim them about a hook shank length. Tie it in securely. Next I'm going to take some Palmer chenille. Tie that in. And then a small piece of marabou that I've wet a little bit. Just want the tips of the marabou to extend past the bend of the hook. I'm going to tie it down. Now I'm going to advance my thread to the lead eyes and wrap the marabou loosely around the hook shank, traveling up to the lead eyes. And tie it off. Trim the excess. Couple more securing wraps. Now we're going to take the Palmer chenille and we're going to wrap this around the hook shank, working our way up the hook. Try not to trap too many of the fibers. You don't want it too dense, uh, similar to how you would wrap a woolly bugger. And then we're going to tie it off just behind the lead eyes. Trim the excess and one or two more securing wraps. Move my thread in front of the lead eyes, turn the fly over, grab a thick clump of bucktail, set the bucktail on top of the fly here. And I want the tips to extend past the marabou tail. Set it on top. I'm going to go around with two loose wraps. And when I complete the second loose wrap, I'm going to pull very tightly to flare the bucktail. I'm going to bend it back and put a couple of securing wraps in front of the bucktail and whip finish. I use two whip finishes on this fly and then I don't use any glue. Now we need to trim the tag ends of the bucktail, kind of clump them all together. And I like them to extend just past the hook eye. That is the completed 
simple crayfish. It's a very effective crayfish pattern for fishing for smallmouth in rivers as well as carp in rivers. And as you can see, it's a very simple tie. Thank you.